Okay guys, we are looking at the leaderboard workout Friday the 28th of October and what we have here is essentially the quarterfinals workout from 2021 with an extension of an extra triplet on the end and taking away the rest period. So we actually redid this workout um, at the start of this year and for a lot of athletes that original version is, a, is pretty much a sprint. If you have got decent handstand push-ups and uh, shoulder endurance, you could push through that really hard, especially with that uh, rest period in there. Um, you could hit both of those triplets really hard. But now, taking the rest away and extending the workout, this is much more of a pacing game. If you are really good at handstand push-ups, you can probably still start out pretty hot in this one. Um, making sure that when you get to this uh, middle triplet with the, the kipping hands and push-ups and the shoulder to overhead, that is where the real pacing is gonna come in there to make sure you can then attack the smaller sets of hands and push-ups at a deficit and the snatches that we added on to the end of that original quarterfinal workout. The RX athletes, which is the bulk of athletes that will be taking on this workout, this really is a pacing game from the start. Breaking up the sets early on the handstand push-ups should allow you to then try and go unbroken on the dumbbells, which I think would be a faster way of doing it than trying to go unbroken on the gymnastics and breaking your dumbbell movements. It's harder when you get to fatigue, picking up those dumbbells, as you know, once you get really tired, is a hard movement to get those dumbbells going again. It's not like with a barbell. So I would suggest quick breaks on the handstands and try to push the dumbbell movements unbroken maybe taking a few extra seconds in your transitions um, to make sure that you can keep moving all the way through and saving yourself time and energy to be able to attack those deficit reps at the end and the challenging um, double snatches. The scaling versions that we have, we do have um, a scale with handstand push-ups still. So if you're competing at an intermediate level and this RX version of the workout is a little bit much for your level right now. Then we have a version that is just kipping handstand push-ups all the way through on a flat surface and you can reduce the load if you need to. Or if for some reason you can't hit handstand push-ups tomorrow or you aren't very good at handstand push-ups yet and you want a more sort of heart rate challenge, then you can use the burpee version that we have. Um, but other than that guys, we will see you on the leaderboard.